Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bon matin, bonjour, bonsoir, Jumbo, and welcome to the third day of our uh, African Sustainable E-Waste Conference and Expo. We are thrilled to have you with us today. And uh, after a session uh, with uh, some startups, we will do a recap of yesterday. So first out this morning is uh, Reta Mora, representing Circular Innovation Hub. And now I love representing Circular Innovation Hub here in Nairobi. Reta, are you with us? Yes, good morning. Good morning. So for the next 10 minutes, the floor is yours. Thank you. So I'll be sharing a presentation um, that we'll go through. Give me a moment. I hope you can all see what is displayed on the screen. Soon. <laughs> Let me know once you see it. Now. Amazing. So I will be taking you through um, the Circular Innovation Hub and explain what exactly it is that we do, the problems we're solving and how we plug into the circular economy. We exist to create solutions to, a circular, to circular economy problems through innovations and we are focusing on three main pillars of it. We have the people, planet and sustainability. On the people, we're looking to develop um, communities and engage them for a circular economy. By engaging them, it is in trainings, it's also in educating them, as well as assisting them to understand whatever um, issues they might have relating to community and business. On the planet section, we will be promoting the overall well-being of the environment through programs that we will be running, both with startups, other startups, with innovators as well as businesses. Then on sustainability, we're looking to boost and help entrepreneurship such that um, the problems that are being solved through business are sustainable and they are innovative and they also promote sustainable development, not only for themselves, but also for the people around them and for the betterment of our countries and our planet. And um, an interesting story is that we have actually integrated the three into our logo. When you look at it on your, on your right, we have the green, we have the yellow, and we also have the blue. All three represent people, planet, and sustainability. So it is a story that we truly believe in, and it's embedded in our core values. The services that we have, the first one is co-working space, um, where I have a very beautiful space where you can come and sit and do whatever work that you need to do. And in that space, you can also be able to network with other people who are like-minded or learn from them or do some research with them while you are at the place. We have innovation programs. Now, these are the ones that will help to solve the sustainability and circular economy problems that people are facing out here through innovators and our main target is young innovators especially in kenya and africa so we're looking to promote whatever innovations they have and also help them to plug into the ce space such that it's not only solving one particular problem but it's also um, replicating to solve other problems even in the future we have meeting spaces. I think this is self-explanatory. You can just come and have meetings here. And we also have facilitation for brainstorming, um, brainstorming sessions. We also have uh, corporate programs. Now this is focused towards businesses, either existing and running businesses that are already well-developed or small businesses that are just starting as um, innovations or entrepreneurs. We have research and development in sustainability. So this is quite wide. Um, focused on all the way from design to distribution to uh, business models to testing and every single thing that entails. 
So this is what circular economy is all about, or what rather we're looking to plug into. The main concept for us is to ensure that whatever resources that are already available, the ones that we know are already available, are used and used and reused and used over and over and over again in such a way that we don't go back to exploit environment. Because environment right now is at a very big risk, as we all know. Uh, we are all digging out and getting so many things from it. And at the end of the day, we have to realize that most of the resources that, that, that the environment provides are already in our supply chain or our uh, business chains or product chains. So the main things that we're looking at is in design. So research in design and also assisting in making sure that there's sustainable design in the space. Um, for now, the young entrepreneurs, the innovators, as well as businesses that are already running and production of the same designs. Then we're looking to have distribution models that we can be able to design for companies, um, as well as now coming to the end life of the products. We're looking at upcycling, recycling, repair, maintenance, everything that entails it, and then now disposal. So we are sort of like a one-stop shop for circular economy, whereby you're able to find solutions to all the problems that you might think that you have, or we'll be able to help you identify some of the problems that you could be facing, but you're not aware of them and help you to solve them. So the problem overview is as is here. This is um, what a, a usual, <laughs> what do you call it? A usual business cycle would look like, yeah? From the start of a business all the way to reaching your goals. So we have the first one being the to hypothesize. That is not just to study whatever models that are there, the problems, the solutions, and that comes before you launch or before you design anything further. And now the second stage is now building. This is where you design. You design, um, initially people will just design for use and that's it. But now you have to design for use, reuse, repairability and all that. And that is where we come in such that we help innovations and startups to be able to not just get stuck on building. When you look at the um, innovation space currently, we have very many young people, youth, who are in the space and they get stuck in stage two, actually. Most of them get stuck in stage two, and that is what we want to solve, to help them propel, to be able to get all the way to stage five. Then stage three, this is where now we have testing. Um, here we're looking to assist businesses to test whatever models that, um, you know, they might not have capacity to test, or models that they feel they need maybe a third party to also assist in testing. Uh, testing for usability, for sustainability, testing for reusability, you know, all those, um, all those things that are in, uh, entailed. Then stage four is the launch. Um, this is where now someone takes the product or whatever service that they have to the market for people to use. Uh, this one, we won't temper much on it, but we'll, we will just facilitate. And then on stage five, this is where now you monitor how are the products and services doing in the market? How, what, what, what data can we collect for us to now be able to report on the market? Um, so it's basically just around researching on the models, researching on the products and researching on the services that are there. This is to help the businesses to be more sustainable and be able to improve continually. And also this is the same data that we will use to be able to coach other smaller businesses um, based on the results that we get in the space. The circular economy spaces that we are starting with um, are as follows. We have e-waste, plastic, paper, glass, organic waste, and many others under there. Uh, this is now the first program that we have designed to be able to tackle issues when it comes to the life cycle of electronics, the life cycle of plastic, of paper, of glass. And we have mentors on board who are assisting in the same to be able to help other young entrepreneurs and innovators to be able to reach their goal of having a more sustainable planet. Um, as you may know, we have very, very, very many various ways in which we can all use, reuse, repair, upcycle this listed materials. And as I said in the previous slide on number two, most people get stuck on design. And this is where we come in to mentor, to assist, 
and also to help launch whatever designs are out there. Um, we have a newsletter where you can get more information from. You can get it uh, through the link that is listed above, or you can also scan the QR code at the bottom left of your screen. You can also reach out to the Circular Innovation Hub through our website, as well as our info, and we have a phone number down there, and we will be sharing this presentation in case you need whatever information that we have displayed. I am here with my colleague. Her name is Anne Salim. Um, hi, everybody. How are you? It's nice to see you all. Um, and, and we just wanted to say, uh, as a new hub, one of the things we're really excited about is getting new partners on board and, and, and collaborating on a variety of projects. So we invite you to reach out to us in the chats uh, or yeah. on any of the socials. We're going to be present all morning. Uh, please uh, send us your questions, your comments. Uh, we are happy to collaborate, to jump on calls, and just to get to know you all as we share more information about our hub. Thank you. Thank you, Simone. Back to you. Great. Thank you so much. Wonderful presentation. And this initiative is really uh, needed uh, in this country and in Africa as a whole. Uh, I hope that you will inspire uh, others. And also, of course, there are others doing similar things. So hopefully we can create a network uh, to benefit all the new innovative uh, business models that are emerging.